The best part about a brand new console releasing is all the fun exclusive all the fun next gen exclusive games that release on the system. Sorry, I I didn't I didn't see you there. Ah, look, don't don't look at me like that. I'm, I... Okay, well this is embarrassing. I'm sorry. I'm just going to face you this way so that you can't see. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> As I was saying, we took a look at the PlayStation 5 last week, but now it's time to look at every single- I said turn around. Hey, where are you going? You get back here right now, young man. D don't you turn your back. Do not slam the- <sighs> Okay, fine. Now you've lost the internet for a whole week. Let me see you update your system now. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to see that. Kids, you know, what are you gonna do? All right, let's let's go on with the video. We are getting uncomfortably close. What? You don't want it? Okay. Usually he. All right. We're getting uncomfortably close to Christmas. So give the very comfortable gift of Raycon. See what I did there? Raycons really do make a great everyday gift, especially if your loved one is still dealing with dangling wires or cheap substitutes that don't have fantastic audio quality or a sleek, comfortable design. Raycon earbuds give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, and a 45 day return policy. I'm being honest when I say I use my Raycons nearly every day in my home gym or going for walks or even just cleaning around the house. They come in a range of fun colors and patterns and they start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market you could find. I have worked with Raycon every single month this year and normally they let me give 15% off of these bad boys. But right now, there's a limited time offer but you have to be quick. All you gotta do is click the link below or go to buyraycon.com forward slash beat-em-ups and you can get 20% off for the first time. I know, I know. With all that said, thank you Raycon for sponsoring the channel. Now on with the video. <gasps> Ow. Let's go through the Miles Morales frequently asked questions list. Yeah, it's about six hours long if you rush through the story, but there's plenty of extras to be found. At times it does, but the ending is pretty epic. Yeah, for 40 bucks? I think so. Probably enough questions for now. Spider-Man Miles Morales really makes you feel like a garden chair. I already made a big video on this channel about Marvel Spider-Man on PlayStation 4, and most of that is transferable here. Growing up, I got my grubby little mitts on every Spider-Man game I could find. And honestly, they stopped being good after Spider-Man 2 the movie game. This one was pretty good as well, actually. <laughs> Just none of the following Spider-Man games could recapture that feeling of swinging through New York. Well, until Insomniac Games got tired of watching everyone else mess up something that should be so simple. In Miles Morales, they introduced his new abilities, Camouflage and Venom. That's the good one. In combat, you use it to dash at, punch at, or lift at enemies, which is cool and blah 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 blah. But they also let you use the same abilities while swinging to gain speed or lift higher. I still can't get enough of swinging. I play my own little mini games in my head where I try to swing as stylish as possible for as long as possible without ruining the flow and doing something clunky. None of that matters though, because you can pet this kitty Aww. and any game that lets you pet a cat gets a 10 out of 10 from me. He wears a freaking Spider-Man mask and swings around and attacks with you. Game of the year. Game of the freaking year. Uh. Okay, well, uh, this is Kim. And also, I would like to say a big hello to Scott the Was. He's supposed... Hey, buddy. It's, yeah, today. Are you, uh, you almost, you're not. N never. Oh. Because I'm right. <laughs> no, I, I get it. Yeah. Scott? I'm gonna find you again, didn't he? Alright. So, Sackboy, uh, it's great. <laughs> 
Playing this game together, we both can't help but compare it to Yoshi's Crafted World, because they're both side-scrolling adventure games, and they're both set in a crafted world. I just feel like this one is better. The platforming works. Well, I was building up to that, I'm but so okay. Sorry. <laughs> I just have to say it. And don't get me wrong, Yoshi is fun and cute and great and awesome and everything, but it's also really easy and so cookie cutter that it becomes boring. Also, it's super short, like six hours, so you don't really get your money's worth. But Sackboy, it's fun and fresh and exciting and a new adventure that's worth playing. But Kim, <laughs> what do you think? I feel like it's pretty much what I wanted Yoshi's Crafted World to be because the level designs were really, really cool and innovative, but the gameplay was not. This is basically like a step up from that where the design is really cool, but also the gameplay is good. It's just actually fun. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> Really? The only annoying thing is having to fork out $70 for every extra person that wants to- <laughs> I want to play too. Well, too bad, Triad. Good thing you're here, actually. I could use your help. Oh, you want to do that thing where I get the butter no, and no, I spread it? No, just shut up. Stay here with Kim for a second. So you nope. Know. Next, we have Godfall and Bug Snacks. One of these games was developed by a AAA 75 person team and a multi million dollar budget. The other was developed by an indie team so small they don't even have a Wikipedia page yet. And this is what it's like to play both of those games. Oh, look at that thing! It's so cute! You gotta get that one. Oh, look at that! Look at the burger thing! If you somehow haven't heard of Bug Snacks yet, you've probably at least heard of that catchy bop of a theme tune. Bug Snacks started as a heavily inspired by Pokemon Snap style game, but thankfully merged into something much more by adding in elements from Ape Escape, Dark Cloud, and even Viva Pinata. I say thankfully because halfway through development, Nintendo went and announced a new Pokemon Snap. If I had to have imagined the dev's reaction at that point, it would have been something like this. Instead of Pokemans, we got bugs merged with snacks. But of course, we can all agree the best by far is Bunga. So go out there and catch them and shove them down these Muppet-esque weirdos' throats and be grossed out as they sprout strawberry legs or curly fry teeth. Although, to be fair, neither of those things are as gross as this next game. Yeah, Godfall, Godfall is rough. I mean, it looks fantastic. Visually, it's a mm, shamrock shake with a side of McRib. But uh, gameplay-wise, it's like an RB sandwich without the meat. Dry, bland, the soda's usually flat, and just what's the point? You play down these linear, cramped, claustrophobic pathways, wailing the same two or three attacks, grinding out levels, just waiting for the game to end, staring at your PlayStation 5, hoping it will just spit out the $70 you spent on the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, money on the <laughs> oh, sorry, bud. I, I forgot I left you out here this whole time. Uh, good news, I don't really need you anymore for the video, so... Uh, and now Demon Souls, I guess. Okay, but now Demon Souls, this game is awesome. Lee difficult. I've been playing it through on Twitch, and at first I was all uh, zero deaths, you baby! <laughs> but then very quickly it, it was like, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I was up the steps! Harder than it has any right to be. But that makes every victory, every kill, every soul manage to actually be spent and not wasted at the feet of a goblin man as I die attempting to hobble my way back to him. That much more rewarding. Also, I mean, just like look at this game. It's gorgeous, man. 
I, I just want to remind you all that this right here, this was a launch PlayStation 3 game. And then this right here, this was like one of the last games released on PlayStation 3. This is what we're getting on day one of PlayStation 5. Y you're picking up what I'm putting down? This Demon Souls is a remake of the original Demon Souls. So if you've played that or any of the Souls games, or if you've been on the internet at any point in the last 10 years, because now every game with any kind of margin of difficulty is compared to the Souls games, you probably know whether or not this is the kind of game for you. It takes a lot of practice, patience, repetition, and of course skill, but whatever you do, do not fat roll while streaming on Twitch, because your chat will not let you hear the end of it. I love you guys. But if I want to roll with my armor on, I'm gonna. I'm also loving this game more than I thought I would. I'm really excited. <laughs> well, that brings us to Astro. Astrobot's Playground is free. It's a pack-in game that comes with the PlayStation 5, which is something so Nintendo. It's a cutesy, adorable little action platformer, which really acts as a love letter to PlayStation's history. You play through four vibrant and fairly lengthy worlds, collecting puzzle pieces and artifacts, the artifacts being pieces of PlayStation's history. The detailing in these models is incredible. Also, as you run around the world, you can find these adorable robots acting out scenes from from pretty much every PlayStation game you can think of. Funnest part for me and Kim while she watched to try and spot all of these little Easter egg characters. This game was built to show off what the new PlayStation 5 controller can do. And oh boy, do it do. <laughs> From the haptic feedback to the adaptive triggers, I was constantly blown away by how I was brought into the game via this controller. It's fun, it's free, and that's the video.